Whenever you're going to use it, this name is Bomber. Whenever it is, this name is Bomber. Whatever's going to happen, this object name is Bomber. Now, just name one object as Bomber. Don't name ten other bomber, Bombers as a Bomber 2. Just name in Bomber 1, Bomber 2, Bomber 3. Don't name them exactly the same. Now, I want to move the object. Now it is Bomber. To follow, exactly follow the waypoint path, Bomber path. And there we go. Okay. And now it is automatically true and action is true. Now it is true and it gonna follow from the beginning of the game the bomber path to there. There we go. Now this is now we have started something. Maybe you already got the point, but now all action is false. Use it only when there are if this is activated, T active upon success, so it's gonna happen over and over again. Because then you can set that if something is true, then it gonna do that. And if it's not true, then it gonna do that. If you won't activate it, then it is it is from the very start from the game that uh, if it is true then it gonna do that. But if it's not true he gonna do that. So because usually when this game starts and it isn't true because you want, then it's automatically use that. So just don't use it. Use that. Then it is just like game continues and until this happens, then it's gonna use that. Click OK and now we go. Now, point is that the game starts wherever the game starts and the plane is moving. But I want to mo make it more beautiful. So I want the camera to follow the bomber. Yep. So I'm gonna go exactly there again, and after that I put new, and because it's about camera movement, it is in cinematics. It is about camera, and now I have to find that where I want, and I want to follow a sp specific unit. Cinematics camera, and follow the specific unit. And had the camera follow object, I want to follow object bomber. Snap camera to object is true because I wanted to snap to camera to object. And the camera would be let's make 100 meet higher than the unit. In other words, this is how height. I don't want it to be like the full screen from far, far away in the moves. It's it's boring. I want it to be close. Then I can see what happens exactly down from the bomber and all these kind of stuff. And it's okay. Now we're gonna follow the camera gonna follow from the very beginning the bomber. Now from my personal experience the bomber gonna start from the ground and it gonna fly up and move. But I don't want that. I want it to start the camera exactly when it's already up. So I gonna make it that the game starts with black screen. It is very back and after two one second it's gonna co fade from black to the game. So when it's probably already flying from sky. So I'm gonna just make new script and I'm gonna make new. I'm gonna go into interface, fade, and fade to black. Fade out to black in zero seconds. In other words it means instantly to black and OK. Now we have now there come under the th idea what you can use. You see I want it to be black for one second. In other words, I'm gonna again put new. Now this is about scripting because I want the timer. Here we go, timer. And I want the timer expire in one second. Now I'm gonna put the name to timer. There isn't any name, so I had to think the name out of myself. Any kind of name what I want to expire in one second. I'm gonna name it Bomber. Okay, let's shape out something different. Let's put Bomber X. Now, I'm gonna OK, and there we go. Th that's gonna expire in one second. Now, this is it with this. I don't need to do anything in intro and beginning right now. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new script. And now we go again to script conditions. And now, last time it was true in the intro beginning, we can see here. But this time we don't need it to be true because we want uh, something to happen after the timer has expired. So we're gonna edit this because I don't need true anymore. Um, many people have uh, left the true and created new after true, but, I, but well, it doesn't. 
actually matter does this true is still there or not but um, if it isn't it's just much easier to see conditions or otherwise you always have to watch up what what is after the true so go back here and edit conditions and well we want that after the timer have expired and we have right here timer expired now we're gonna change it timer question mark question mark question mark has expired I'm gonna click here and the bomber X what is there it is that last timer what we created we're gonna check it okay and now timer bomber X has expired now if timer bomber has X has expired then what gonna happen now that one second is over when it faded out uh, when it, it has been black now we want it to go black to normal screen like in game so we're gonna go same place interface fade and fade out to black no I mean fade in from black and let's say I want to fade in in two seconds now uh, after that one second has been over it gonna fade it in the entire screen from black in two seconds in two seconds the game is like normal I'm gonna press OK and there we go if timer bomb X has expired the fade in entire screen from black in two seconds now maybe you have un already understood the main point of scripting this is the condition what was happened what happened if that has happened and this is cause why what one what happened what what gonna happen after that has happened and right now it is that fading this entire screen from black in two seconds and now we have the beginning of intro we can see that it's pretty awesome but point is that I wanted the intro to be exactly like in other maps intro I want the intro to be awesome I want the intro to be in uh, that screen where the down and up is black and I can see like in the movie like in the movie intro so I and um, well and I want it to be from the very beginning so I gonna just click here twice because this is true I don't want to create new script you can create new script as well but since since this is true already then I just gonna edit this one and I'm gonna go straight to action if true and then and, and I'm gonna create new now this is about camera cinematics and camera but since I am the expired one experienced one I mean then um, I can tell it it isn't here it is in cinematic settings and we can hear start letter box mode start letter little box mode show rather this is one of these now the point is that I want to be start letter box mode just normal one and this is what I want we can this way we can we the up and down is black like in movie and we can see in the middle part and I'm gonna bless start letter box mode hide UI and add border now we have border up and down and okay now point is that now we have pretty awesome beginning I guess so bomber is gonna fly there now point is that even if we are following bomber we need to go and at infantry what he gonna drop down and we can do two different ways that but I'm gonna use the other harder way because then you can see how is other way to possible to do it so another way is just adding five objects outside of border and setting all names and 